Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. In the previous episode, we went into a rather infested city to rescue some scientists, or was it an engineer, and a soldier from a rather large horde of the lost. And in this episode, I've made my decision on which mission we're going to be going after. And for some reason... My map is glitched out, so it's constantly going to the left. I have no idea why. The elders know all too well that you approach the refuge of the insidious Templars. Do not assume that their aid will make any difference to your cause. Oh, I don't know. It's made a pretty big difference in my opinion. Anyways, we're going after this one for Location Scout. Enemy Unknown. Now, we've pretty much been through every other enemy in the game except for one, and that doesn't show up till we, you know, do some specific stuff. So this one has to be Insectopod. Anyways, I will see you guys once we have our squad set up. Okay, we've gotten our team set up. Decide to bring along... Dragonova, because we're heading into Assassin territory, and her scouting skills will be invaluable on this. Uh, Ren and Nora, Blake, Yang, and Vector. Because I'd, I'd really like to level him up so I can get him brought along on the Assassin Stronghold when we eventually get to that, once we have powered armor. Uh, other than that, not much. The usual affair. Mind Shield, Nano Med Kit, Frost Bomb, Plasma Grenades, which I finally have. And we're gonna need them if I'm finally right about the enemy we're facing. So, let's get started. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Yep. Still moving to the left. No idea why. Not gonna try wasting time to find out. Shen came across an odd series of transmissions coming out of this region. We've narrowed it down to a hidden alien communications relay transmitting to the Advent Network. We can't pass up any opportunities to disrupt their progress on the latest operation, so we're moving in to take out that relay. Neutralize any hostile contacts near the site, lock it down, and destroy the target. Ah, another alien relay. Alright, let's see what this location scout gets us. One five. The communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. Commander, we managed to access an old reconnaissance satellite passing over the AO. We've got a complete picture of the area. There shouldn't be any surprises on this one. Okay, how the hell would a satellite be able to, you know, look underground? Let's see. Got yeah, Spectre and an Archon over there. Archon and a couple of Mutons over there, and yeah, I was right. Finally have access to the Sectopod, and because we're not extracting from this mission, we are going to be able to at least do the research so we can get the Mark III gremlins. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Probably going to be saving the grenades for the sectopod and the heavy mech. So, I can safely get Dragon Nova over here without, wor without worrying about these guys. I will always find you. Now, my only major concern with the upcoming assassin fight is the fact that my hero soldiers, which I'm definitely going to be bringing... Wait, what? Oh, oh, that's right. That's right, the double crosser. I forgot we had that. So yeah, this is our guy for this mission. He joined our cause. Here's hoping you live long enough. 
I wonder, if I do keep him alive through the end of the mission, does he join us? Like, fully join us? It'd certainly be interesting. Will do. Alright, let's get a couple people up here, take out this pod first. Or at least attempt to. Uh, Yang, why don't you save some time and grapple up there? That's why you got that ripjack. Let's go. Yes, let us. Don't want to move them too close because chances are they're going to be going over the bridge. Or they're going to be heading straight for Yang and Ren. Now yeah, this guy's only got a frag. But still, some grenades are better than none. Even though I hardly ever use them outside of my grenadier. Ah, let's see. Nora. Hmm. Let's get you... You know what? Let's use Vector. Out. All right then. They didn't move at all. Now the question is, do I have a line of sight on those other pods? No, I don't. Good. Ah, Dragonova's not going to be good for taking out the Spectre. And chances are, the Spectre's going to move first and trigger everyone else's overwatch. Unless I were to freeze them. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Spectres can be a rather big pain in the ass. Ooh. Nobody has line of sight on them, but that doesn't mean they can't see us. I'm gonna take my chances. Nora, freeze them. I mean, I didn't see the, uh... Serpent King, so I think it's safe to say we're not going to be dealing with him. Because unlike the Chosen, they don't show up after you've arrived. They're there before. Just start shooting at the Archon. Mm. <laughs> you know what? Outrider. Could you finish it off? No. Alright, in that case, Vector, take him down. How many of you have I killed? And you go on to Overwatch. Dragonova, hunker down. Waiting patiently. You can never escape my sight. Now Dragonova's seen them, but have they seen us? An alien patrol. They haven't. That Sectopod is just really interested in that little corner. Now, I know the magnetic grenade launcher has a larger range. No, didn't think so. And if I move up to a range where I could get them all, they'll see me. Hmm, a Dragonova could move up without being seen. Throw a Claymore, but would anybody be able to hit it? That is the question. And I think the answer is probably no. 
because if they could hit a claymore that's over there, then chances are they could take a shot at the aliens themselves. Ah, the open spaces, the fresh air. In a sewer system? You gotta work on your sarcasm, Julian. Yeah, that figures. But I think I can take care of that. Sensors indicate armor deflection. Okay, Nora, Combat you will get into cover. Let's check out this plasma grenade. I know I said I was going to use them on the heavy mech, but Julian's shredding just took out pretty much all of its armor. So I'm going to use this on them, destroy their cover, hopefully. So that I can get some clear shots with everybody else. And if not, then I'll at least have done a ton of damage. Eighty-four percent. May as well take it and remain at a safe distance. Did you see that one? Yeah, we all saw it. Eh, unfortunately that guy still has cover. Hmm. Moving out. Nine percent, one percent. I think I'll take a sting shot on this one. I waited for this moment. I want to guarantee she stays hidden. And Yang, what to do with you? Well, could this elite trooper get in range to take a shot at that mech? No, probably should have been moving them up earlier. Wait, 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 wait. I think I got something. I move over here. I've got a flanking shot on both the elite priest and a shot at the mech. I could kill the mech. I could do a ton of damage to the priest. I'm gonna kill the mech. Unless... No, wait, wait, wait. I could kill the mech with my whiplash. 28 damage. Holy. On second thought, I think I might hold off on that and use it on the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, sectopod. Here you go. All you had to do was ask. And then use teamwork from Blake. Yes. And have her, let's see, 67, 8 damage. Won't be enough to kill it and it'll leave her exposed. Could try and go for a stun? Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Gotcha. Of course, unlike your stasis, I can still kill you as you are. <laughs> Darn it. Died down that time. So the sectopod's still stomping around, but the rest of the groups are not. Well, I say groups, there's just one other. Okay then, Yang. You have a flanking shot on this guy, take it. Really? That Ready. did not sound good. No, it didn't, because it wasn't. Let's see, anybody else who can move in, take a flanking shot? Got Blake, but she's still in concealment, and I don't think she's going to be in range for her alloy knife. Then again, I've got Julian, I can have him take a shot at the very least. His trace surrounds will increase aim chance. If he doesn't hit, but he did. This weapon requires ammunition to function. You don't say. Take the shot, Dragonova. 
That wasn't a very good shot, Dragonova. And you've been revealed. Find that Nora, please. I was about to say show them how it's done, but you clearly did not. Nobody else can really move into position except for Blake. Well, and maybe the elite trooper. But, uh, <laughs> have Advent hasn't really shown the best track right, uh, record when it comes to shots. Well, it was not when they're on my side. See what I mean? Okay, Blake. Let's do oh, this. whatever. Sixty-one percent chance, but there is a chance you stay concealed. Thank you, and thank you. Uh, in that case, I'm just gonna have Ren move up. Because one, I don't have anybody else who can actually move up, and two, one hold out until Dragonova's got her shadow back. Even though I can already see everyone, I'd still like to have her, you know, scouting ahead. Wait, what? That was the... Okay, no clue how she keeps on getting concealed herself. Also, I've got to move either Julian or the Elite Trooper. If I want to get Dragonova moving. In short order. You cannot run. So it didn't seem to get line of sight on these guys. That's good. Just them. Doesn't seem like I can move anyone up to, you know, get within sight of them. Physical exertion outweighed. Well, what did you expect when you got a body? Not a problem. Scanning. There. Commander, we have a positive ID on the alien relay. And plenty of time to take it out. Good, they're going away. Oh, if only I had line of sight on them with Dragon Nova. I could have remote started their purifier. That would have been awesome. As it stands, I can only seem to get line of sight on the shield bearer. And nope, doesn't have a throwing arm for that. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Eh. Julian, why don't you go in and say hello? This unit is relatively agile. How about a bit of an explosive hello? Okay, that's gonna leave them exposed. Dragon Nova, take one of them out. Fall 
says hello. I need more ammo. I am aware. Alright, that's another Mouton down. Weapons burning ammo fast. Elite Trooper, you go on Overwatch. Nora, you do the same. Hmm. Archon's a greater threat to us. Who else is available? Just Yang, huh? 58%. No, no. I was gonna save that for the Sectopod. Take the shot. If it doesn't work out, then I'll try using the Arc. What in hell? And of course, That's neither one works out. Uh, Blake. Full auto fire. Screw it. Get a ton of damage on him. And if I'm lucky, some of the overwatches will take him out. They are fleeing. Or he'll just be an idiot, fly through the fire, and catch on fire. But he has gone to warn his buddies. So they are now very much aware of our presence. Okay, Dragonova. Yeah, no, I won't be able to do it because you're out of ammo. Yeah, insufficient ammo. Alright, fine. They're gonna be coming this way anyway, so. May as well overwatch. On overwatch. I'm on it. And Blake, I'm you fine. reload. And we should probably now nah, we've got enough turns. And then uh you get over here, just so that you're close enough that you can move in to hit the sectopod with a whiplash. This unit scanners are active. Only one. Well, whatever. One damage is better than none. Oh, I don't think that's going to be an issue fairly soon. No place for you to go now. And you know what? I've been talking about it, Dragonova. Why don't you re remote that? Ta -ta darn it! Remote start that purifier. Enjoy the show. Oh, I will. Tell your gods I'm coming. Well, that took out. Archon almost took out the shield there. Well, not quite. Yang. Can you hit that thing with a whiplash? No? Well, how about I move you over here and do it? Bye bye. Oh, that's good. And then I'll pull you in and kill you. Okay, Julian, why don't you get over here, pick up the loot? Well, Lyrium Core is always good. And then, let's send you into overdrive and just start have you wailing on that transmitter. Relay. However you want to call it. Need to reload Not gonna matter. Mission's over. Status confirmed. 
All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Huh. Plated vest. Not bad. And we've got just under five minutes left on this episode. So we can get some scanning done. Maybe. According to Advent, Powered armor. Recent attacks by dissident elements operating outside of the city centers have done little to slow the progress of Advent's ongoing development or outreach programs. Voluntary citizen emigration numbers are reportedly at their highest level in recent years. You say that every time. But anyways, like I was saying earlier, and then just realized I never finished my thought, but my only real concern is not having the plasma not weapons because... Casualty reported, Commander. I hope all of our deployments go this well. Because there's no coil equivalent for the heroes or for the mechs, which apparently bonus didn't take into account. I don't know why. Uh, yes, let's finally get him field surgeon for those times that we don't get a flawless. And your crew have dealt another serious blow to the aliens' efforts today, Commander. Impressive work. Yeah, there's only three days left of powered armor, and I don't think we're going to be getting another mission before that. Intel. Oh, always good to have. Of course, what would be even better Avenger is if my map stopped moving. Course. No idea what's caused it. It's probably going to be sticking around till the end of the game, and I'm just grateful it's only on here that it's doing this. Strategic resource located. Grenade, ammo. Some nah. of our people are a little worse for wear after that last covert action, but if we give them time to rest, they'll be fine. All right, what else we got? No. Not bad, but I don't think I really need it at this point. No. Yeah, if it was more, I'd say yes. But it's not, so no. 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 Uh -uh. Da -da. No. I mean, I guess this wouldn't be bad to have. But I don't really have to do any of this. Avenger plotting new Let's go for the intel. We could always use that. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Commander. The aliens have made significant progress toward their goals. New advent facilities are cropping up around the world. Yeah, I'm aware. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. See, Warden Armor, Celestial Gauntlets, Anodized Chase, that have Chassis, and we also have the Wraith Suit and the War Suit. Not gonna be able to get all of that, though. Second self instruction. Wait, is that for the. Yeah, it is. Eh, it could be good. But I'd really, really like to get the Sectopod breakdown done. From what I've been told, our troops took to calling this large robotic unit a Sectopod, under the initial assumption that it was being controlled by a Sectoid pilot. On closer inspection, we can see that is not the case. Not unlike the mechanized Advent units, which were likely derived from the Sectopod itself, this machine seems to be entirely autonomous. Actually, from what we learned in the Lost Towers, the mechanized units that Advent uses are actually derived from Raymond Shen's original designs. Although I had realistic expectations as to the limited resources and facilities available to me on board the Avenger, I have to say, it's taken some getting used to. Even with the ship's dampening field, frequent turbulence and the occasional evasive maneuver make it difficult to conduct experiments of any notable sensitivity. 
I may have to adapt my research techniques to maintain efficiency under these conditions. Commander? So, 51 short of the Ward armor. For me, that's more important than an ana that anodized chassis. Uh, how far? We're six days off a of supply drop. I think I can hold out until then. We are at the end of the episode. I'm just going to take care of this promotion to get rid of that. That, uh... What did I even have her as? Huh. Guess I didn't have her as anything. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, make her an assault. Not even gonna use her. Ah, uh, like I said, I'm gonna hold out for that supply drop just so I can get the warden armor and potentially the anodized chassis at the same time. Though chances are there's gonna be a mission in between, though as it stands, I'm probably just gonna take care of all the scanning off screen or off camera. And I'm going to end this episode off here for today. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like. Subscribe for future content. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.